Hello, welcome to the second lesson of menstruation where we are looking at the length of an arc of a circle. Okay, remember that this channel is here to provide mathematics to people that are writing their grade 12 as well as grade 9 exams. We are adequately preparing those people from grade 10 work up to 12 for those of you that are writing grade 12 work and uh, to those that are writing grade the 9 exams grade 8 up to 9 work is um, found on this channel so make sure that you subscribe to this channel uh, give us some comments on how best we can render the service to you all right so let's look at uh, this is a grade 11 topic and I'm looking at it as a second lesson of um, we're looking at the length of an arc. What is an arc in this case? We are saying an arc is a part of the circumference of a circle bounded by two radii. Okay? So, we have to establish what a circumference of a circle is. What is the circumference of a circle? The circumference of the circle is the distance around the circle. It's the distance around the circle. This is the... When we find this, the distance, this one, it's the distance around the circle, like the perimeter of the circle, if you like. This is what we call the circumference of the circle. Okay? And then you have to understand that to find this, the, the circumference of a circle, this work is... Um, was downgraded to grade 7. So to find the circumference of a circle, we have two, we use 2 pi r. Make sure you get to know this formula. O, or circumference of a circle can be given as z, where this one is diameter, because you know that diameter is equals to 2 multiplied by radius. Diameter, radius is from the center up to the circumference of a circle, whereas diameter divides the circle into two semicircles. So these are the two formulas that we use to find the circumference of the circle. So we are saying an arc, an arc is a part of circumference of a circle bounded by two radii. So for instance here, let's take it that um, this is the center of this circle. We have got one radius here and the other one is here. So the arc that we are talking about here, it's the distance from this point up to this one. Now if this one is movable, we move it to this point. Our arc now is the distance from this point to this point. If we bring it down here or straight like this, our arc is the distance from here up to this point. Okay? If we from this point we bring it down like this. If we are talking about the bigger sector, we are still saying our arc is this distance from here up to this point. Remember we've got a sector here. This is the second lesson that I'm presenting. So I would request that you look at lesson one where we talked about a sector in detail and it will help you understand so a sector in most cases is supposed to be combined with this part but i just thought of isolating it from there so the formula that we use if we want to find the length of an arc if we want to find the length of an arc we take a fraction of the whole circumference a fraction of the whole circumference of a circle depending on the angle at the center of depending on the angle at the center, this angle here, okay? We take a fraction of this whole thing. If you look at the formula that we are going to use, it's this one here. This two is not part of this formula. The formula that we are going to use is this formula as it is given. But what are you seeing here? This is the formula that we use to what? To find the circumference. So we are finding the fraction using the angle, using the angle that is given, that guides the size of that arc, okay? So this is the formula 
that we are using. This is the formula that we are using to find the arc. Then we are supposed to know that the arc we are talking about uh, is the part, okay? It's the part of the circumference. The length, the length here, the distance from this point to this of this. That's a, uh, what we, that is, this is what is referred to as the arc. And how do we find that distance? This is, uh, we use this formula to do that. We use this formula to do that. So, we have the examples there. We have two examples that we need to, to calculate. If I can even rub this part. Okay. So what are we calculating? We are saying find the length of an arc which subtends uh, which sub subtends an angle of 140 degrees at the center of a circle. Find the length of the arc. L is equals to when we are talking about the length multiplied by 2 pi r. And I've said pi we take 22 over 7. That is what we are going to use as our pi. Also, this part does come in paper 1. So, at times, you may not need to use a calculator. So, let's try these questions without the use of a calculator. So, the angle at the center is 140 over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 22 over then our we have what? 14. Okay, so we simplify this this is the, is, I, I like it like that. We have 14 over 36 multiplied by, um, what do we have here? We have 2, then we have 22 multiplied by 14, okay, over 7. So this into that is 2. Okay. Take note, we have 2 here. So now we can go on and say we have 14 over 36 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 22, multiplied by 2. Okay. So if allow me to say 2 multiplied by 2, let this give us what? 4. Multiplied by, so I'll get rid of this 2. I have multiplied this 2 by this one, got 4. Alright? So we go on and say, um, what do I want to do? I want to say, 2 here, 7, 2 here, what? 18, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 22. Alright? Then um, 2 here, it's uh, 2, 2 here, it's 9, okay? So, we continue, we do, we continue with the same, so we have 7 over 9 multiplied by 44, am I right? Multiplied by 44 this and that okay then here what are we looking at now multiply 7 by uh, 44 44 by 7 what do we get this is 28 also this gives us what 28 plus the other two we get this one 3 so we have um, 309 when you multiply there, uh, 308, I mean, over 9. So 9 into 30 goes 3 times. Goes 3 times, it goes into um, 27. Remainder, remainder 3. Then 9 into 38. 9 into 38. Um, it's 4. 4 times. Remainder 2 over 9 centimeters. Okay. If you want, you can convert this part into a fraction. 
but uh, this is what we should be able to get. This is what we should be able to get. Okay, it's easier for you to work out if it does come in paper too, because you just use a calculator and get us. But even without, this is what we are going to get. Okay. All right. So we move on to the second question. I do not need. We need a. I don't think we need a lot of effort to work out these questions. Uh, these are very simple questions that we are supposed to have less complications when handling them. When you are handling such a question, you are not supposed to have difficulties or complications. So let's look at the second question. Here, what are we given? The radius, radius is given as 42, then the angle is not given, then the arc, the length of the arc is given. The length of the arc is given. Now we want to find the angle. So look at this. We have this. This is our formula, isn't it? So, what have we been given here? We have been given radius as well as the actual length, but then this angle is not given. So, that is what we want to find here in this case. So, I'll proceed and do the substitution just right on this formula. Okay? Suppose it's, it's written there, the formula now here we are replacing. This one is our 88, then our 2 multiplied by radius. Radius, I mean, our pi is this one, and our radius is given as 42. Okay. So we go on and say 88 is equals to theta over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 22 over this. I want to divide it into that. So we get 6. Are we together there? We are getting 6 there. Okay. So I'm proceeding. Um, let me simplify this. Um, we go on and say 88 is equals to um, theta over 360 multiplied by, you know that this we are like multiplying like this, isn't it? Multiplied by 12, multiplied by 22. 12 is 2 multiplied by 6. That's what we are doing here. I'm just trying to simplify. So we go on 88. Z equals to what? Um, 12 here, 1. 12 here is 3. So we have theta here. Take note, here we have 30. Okay? We've got 30, then multiplied by 22. Alright. Uh, bear in mind that we are working without a calculator, so we need to simplify it in bits. So 22 again, I'm going to say here, 2, it's 11, here 2, it's 15. So I have 11 theta over 15 is equal to what? This is what is giving us 88. Okay? Again, at this point, I'm going to say 11 theta is equal to 88 multiplied by 15. Okay? Then at this point again I'll say 11 is equals to 80. I mean uh, theta is equals to 88 multiplied by 15 over 11. Alright? And then at this point I'm going to say now theta is equals to 11 into 88 it's 8. So then 8 multiplied by 15. That is what we're supposed to do now. 11 into 88 is 8. Then 15 multiplied by 8. What do we get? We get 30. Okay. What do we get? So we get 40. 40. So we write our 0. 8 multiplied by 1. What do we get? 8 plus. So our theta is 120 degrees. 120 degrees. Just like I mentioned that these are questions that we really don't need a lot of effort to work out. So you should be able to 
to handle n question that involves uh, the length of an arc under menstruation. All right, thank you so much. I hope you are you have followed and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that all other videos that we are going to upload you are able to watch them. So let me give you. Oh, I think I can also mention something, although I may not be able to give you. I can mention something. Okay. I only I forgot. Um, there are times when, for instance, you have this case. Please pay attention. Eh? You have got this case. Okay. When you remember that when you find the length of this arc, you are using this same angle here. I explained something even though you use this angle here if it's 75. You find the length of this arc. Then there are also times when you are going to be given, like you've got two, um, you have got two sectors. So you need to find the length of this arc. The only difference is that, please pay attention, the only difference is that you are going to use this radius that is given here. When you are finding the arc of the bigger sector. And then there is also a point at which you need to find the if you want to find the length of the smaller arc, you use this radius here. Please get what I'm saying. So sometimes in the exam, the question is going to ask you to say, find the perimeter, or find the perimeter of, for instance, this is A, B, C, D. Find the perimeter of the shape, this shape here. Find the perimeter. The perimeter, you know, it's the distance around this. So you need to find this, this arc, using the uh, bigger or the longer radius and you also because we need this distance of this arc and second we also need this distance of this arc then plus this one here you know that it will be easier for you to find this one because if this is from this point up to this one if it is four then the other one is given as six you know that from here to this point it will be two then also here it's two so you add this 2 plus this 2 and what you got here and this one. That is what is going to be the perimeter of, or the distance around the shaded region. So sometimes there will, be such, there will be such a question. So you need to make sure that you find the arc, the length of this arc as well as the length of this arc. Then you get to subtract to find this short distance here. What is it? Then you add this plus this plus this. And that is what is going to give you the the perimeter because sometimes they'll ask you such a question so you should be able to think like that okay and i forgot so let me uh, give you the questions that uh, you can try to work out you can try to work out um uh, the other question that i want you to do is this one this question here uh, is it the one no 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 this one calculate the calculate the arc of the length do it I'll even give you the answer it's there down as you can see it's an example but do it before you look at the answer and the answer is this one okay that's that. Then you can also do this one. This one, as it is like that. You are finding the angle, the same thing. Okay. Then uh, the also question. There's also this question here. Maybe just for your practice. Question what? Five. Question five, just. Question five. This is coming from this book. And then the other one. The questions are coming from this, in case you have it. Okay. So, thank you so much for watching. We are uploading more videos to make sure that all the work that you may need to pass the exam is adequately presented to you all right please hit that red button down there subscribe to this channel so that you watch all the videos that we're uploading thank you so much